guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley Rock here, and if you're anything like I was a couple years ago, then your nine to five job was nothing like you envisioned for your life. You were probably overworked, super stressed because your workload is that of two or three people, and you feel disrespected or unappreciated. Worst of all, you have no work-life balance and you feel like you have no way out. That's exactly where I was until I quit that job and to be honest, quitting that job ruined my life. But it ruined the life that I knew back then, a life of feeling unappreciated, disrespected sometimes, having no work-life balance, and more than anything, feeling like I wasn't in control and making excuses for why I couldn't live life the way that I wanted to. Sorry, there's a bug in here. was a lot like that bug I just zapped. <laughs> but one day I decided I wanted to be the windshield instead of the bug, or I wanted to be the zapper and not the bug. So instead of letting life just continue to happen to me, I made the choice. And that was the first day of the life that I have now, which is so gratifying. And even though it's not exactly where I wanna be, I'm happy to say that I'm making more money working part-time. I'm taking a trip almost every month and I have the freedom to pursue my own entrepreneurial goals. Needless to say, I feel more alive and more fulfilled and more like I have a purpose because if you don't make a choice for yourself, one will be chosen for you and it's probably not gonna be the life that you envision for yourself that you also deserve. And that's what I want for you. That's why you're here. That's why you're watching this channel right now is because you want somebody who's going to tell you that it is possible. Really a lot of motivation for me making this video is just people DMing me, telling me how much my other video really inspired them and how they were thinking about leaving their job. And, and then they would share with me what passions they really had. And I thought that that was really cool and also funny. In every single conversation that I had with people that DM me, I do talk to people when they do that. <laughs> the one common thing that I will say everyone had in common, they knew what their passion was. They knew. So you probably know too. It's, it's almost like we've trained ourselves to believe that we don't deserve those things or that it can't happen for us, like that we can't do something that we truly love or are passionate about. But I thought that it was very interesting. Every single person that messaged me told me that they wanted to quit this job that they were doing for so long. My video inspired them. They really want to quit because what they actually want to do is this. And my answer to them was to do it. Find a way to make it happen for yourself. Just do it. You will figure it out. And even if that first step isn't exactly going to lead you right there, free up something that's going to get you there. Free up your time so that you can dedicate that time into building whatever that other thing is. Because I guarantee you, even if you're making a little less money or you're working different hours and your lifestyle changes, you are still going to feel way more fulfilled actually applying yourself to what you wanna do than just living your days every single day getting through and just surviving. Now, when I left my job, it was actually a really big push that took me there, but I had wanted to leave that job for so long. I just felt trapped like I needed to be there. Also, I had no time of my own to actually look for other jobs or to pursue anything else. But I feel like when that time comes for you, a lot of times there are signs. There are all kinds of signs that are telling you to make a move. And when you don't take those signs, the universe will do something for you that is like a clear indication that it is time to move on. For me, it ended up being my boss fighting me and that was ultimately the push that led to me quitting. I am living proof that a decision like that can change your entire world for the better which is what I want for you guys. I want you guys to be happy and I want you guys to feel the same freedom that I feel when I wake up anytime that I want to because I don't have to report to a nine to five. That being said, that type of lifestyle is not for everybody. Maybe you don't wanna be an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to find a decent job that you can work nine to five and have that structure but feel appreciated and just be in a better overall environment and in a better space for yourself. So 
my first word of advice is to form a plan before you leave that job and part of that is going to be the first step which is working on your resume now i remember this was probably one of the biggest roadblocks for me when i was thinking about leaving my job i hadn't done a resume in probably years i didn't even know where to start luckily for you guys there's tons of really cool tools out there. Some of them are free to help you guys tweak yours and optimize it best for recruiters. The first route that you can go is to find a resume template. So this is just going to be a basic or even a razzle kind of template that just has different sections on the resume that you can just fill in with your own information, tweak whatever you want to on your own, and then get that going first step down then you can start submitting that resume and getting all those cool calls because you have something that has a nice structure to it that people can look at and be like yeah they professional for those of you who are completely lost you can find some really neat ai based tools one of which is resume nerd which i found really cool because you can actually put in your information and then they will auto create a cool resume that's optimized for whatever industry that you're working in so it can take all of your information and then neatly form it into something that will stand out for recruiters which i thought was really cool another really good one is resume.io that's another sort of ai based one now as far as the free version of that one i know that it's just a text file so it'll organize all of your information and then you can print out that text file and then you have that for free but if you go the paid route then it'll actually let you print out the resume that you see when you use resume io but that being said there are some workarounds to that because you could actually use resume io first and then get that text file. And once you have that information there, you can go to Canva, which is also free, and that will actually allow you to populate all the information from that text file that you got into that Canva template. And boom, you have a beautiful resume. Step one, done. So now that you've worked on your resume and it's nice and updated, the next step is to actually start to look for a job. Personally, in my experience, the best ones that I have submitted my resume on have been Indeed, ZipRecruiter, and Simply Hired. So those are just the ones that I'm gonna name. I actually really like Indeed and, what's the other one? Oh, Glassdoor. I actually personally like Glassdoor and Indeed because you can actually look up reviews of the company before you actually send in your resume or accept an interview. But also they will reach out to you through these platforms. I feel like I got more responses through Glassdoor and through Indeed. ZipRecruiter, I think I got more actual job listings to submit to, but as far as actually hearing back and getting interviews to, or getting requests to interview, um, Indeed was probably my highest one that I got. But again, this is gonna depend on your industry. Another great thing to use is definitely LinkedIn. I feel like LinkedIn has become a really big thing, especially for recruiters who are trying to source candidates. They definitely check to see if you have a LinkedIn and they also review the information on there and sometimes see who your connections are. But the other great thing about LinkedIn is it kind of makes it more of like a social experience. So if you are looking for jobs, you can find out who those recruiters are within that company or some of the management and look up some of the information just as part of your research process. Um, but also, in some instances, reach out to some of the recruiters. Once in a while, you might even see some postings or about openings within the company too. And then they'll welcome any applications through links and stuff like that. So that's another cool thing. So yeah, LinkedIn is definitely another avenue, probably one of the biggest I feel like for recruiters right now in how they source candidates. So if you don't have a LinkedIn, you're sleeping, you really need to get on that. Definitely want to utilize all the resources that you have to do so. So now that you have revamped your resume and started to submit to different jobs, you're going to want to plan your finances. I like to find budgeting templates. You can find them if you just Google 
I don't know, a Excel template spreadsheet. Well, I actually use the one for Mac now. And look up a budgeting template that way. This way you can actually see what your spending habits are and discern between what your necessities are and what things you can do without in case for some reason something pushes you out and you decide to leave the job sooner, at least you'll be prepared financially. For me personally, it was great for me to see what was the minimum that I could live off of because that actually was one of the factors that I considered when I was prospecting for different jobs. I was thinking like, okay, for me it was more of a game of balancing out the time that I would be spending at a job, the money that I'd be making, and then the freedom that I would have. Ultimately for me, the freedom was the biggest thing. Obviously I needed to make money. I needed to make at least a certain amount, at least the amount that I was making at that job. But if I could work at least 30% less, that was my goal. So I ended up getting lucky. I mean, luck does play a part in it, unfortunately. But you just wanna be prepared. When that opportunity presents itself, the best thing you can do for yourself is be prepared for it. So that's why you need to fix up your resume. You need to get accustomed to submitting to jobs and then just kind of like see what works, what sticks and see what doesn't. There's also some other really cool resources like different apps. I can't really tell you specifically one that I'm using because I personally like the spreadsheet templates best, but there's all kinds of apps out there. I'm sure if you guys just search for an app in whatever app store you use, Android or Apple, you can find some kind of cool budgeting app that will really like make it so that you can see. And then you can evaluate what you're willing, like how much you're willing to make. Cause it's one thing for you to just say, oh, I wanna make $100,000 a year. Okay, based on what grounds, like ask yourself questions like why? Like why do you need $100,000 a year? And if you get that job making $100,000 a year, is that working 40 hours a week? Is that working 60 hours a week? You have to just ask yourself more things because this will help you to be able to weed through the jobs as well. Because you don't just wanna take any job. It's not really gonna be helpful for you if you just end up in the same place. Finally, you just wanna ask yourself questions so that you can find something that fits you and your lifestyle and also the lifestyle you want. I know personally for me, a couple reasons that I was told I got called back was in my cover letter, I specifically said that I'm looking for a fit for me that's going to help me achieve my personal goals something like that like I can't remember exactly how I phrased it on that cover letter but it was something to the effect of I'm looking to grow with a company and help them achieve their goals as I achieve my personal goals and I think that it's stuck for some people because Everybody understands that you need a job so that you can survive and so that you can make money and everything like this. But I was kind of putting it out there like, yeah, I want a job and I'm not just going to kiss your ass in my cover letter and say that I want to get this job so that I can help you guys do whatever it is. I basically was putting it out there that like, I want this to be a unit, um, <laughs> I want this to be a mutually beneficial thing here. I want to work for you and because I can see that this is going to help me achieve my personal goals, I will work hard for you. Does that make sense? Hopefully I phrase that in a way that's understandable, but the jury's kind of out right now on cover letters. I've heard from some recruiters that they don't even look at the cover letter. I've heard from others that they love seeing the cover letter, especially if you're trying to get into a new industry or if there's a gap in experience in your resume, I think it's good to have a cover letter just to kind of explain that stuff. So for me personally, my cover letter was to explain like transitioning from hospitality into the marketing and the sales world, like why I was doing that. Don't just write a cover letter just for the sake of writing one, have a purpose in doing so. I think that that is really what it comes down to is like the quality of it, not just doing it for the sake of doing it. The last thing that you're gonna wanna do is really be honest with yourself about what your personal goals are and what you want out of your life, at least for the next five to 10 years. Just sit down and ask yourself what you want, that way you can understand the why behind the what's. So you have a clear idea or vision of what you want, 
things are just going to feel scattered and unorganized and you know you might be asking for things and then you wonder why you don't get them well it's because you don't have a clear idea or a clear picture of what you want and why if you can understand those things then it's easier for you to manifest the life that you want the biggest thing that i wanted was time like time for me was the most important time for myself time to see my family time to spend with my partner once i understood that it was like everything else fell into place so i got a job that allowed me to work part-time which freed up more of my time which led to freedom the reason why i wanted more time is because i wanted to feel like i was free to do what i wanted a majority of my time and it seemed like everything else just kind of fell into place from there. So you will be surprised at how quickly and how easily everything else starts to line up for you. Part of manifestation that we often forget is action. You have to take action if you want changes to happen. If you sit there and wait for the changes to come, things may change. It may not change in the way that you want it to. It probably won't. And you're just going to kind of get stuck. When you take action, when you take a definitive action toward what you want, that's when all these changes can fall into place because you have to create space in order to welcome new change. To be honest, when I quit that job, I did not expect for my life to turn out the way that it did now. There's still a lot of things that I'm working on. Like it's definitely a work in progress, but I would have never pictured myself as happy as I am. I never thought that I would be taking a trip every month or every other month and seeing my family as often as I do because I do live very far from them. I live in California and my entire family lives in Florida. So for me, that's huge. Like I'm basically, I'm living the life that I told myself that I wanted. It's definitely not exactly how I pictured it, but it's everything that I've asked for. I'm just happy.